guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episode 6 of Skip to Lover. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So pretty. Oh? Yeah, almost died, but you know, hey, I'm okay. You want to talk about it? Okay, so even though this is coming out tomorrow, because it's now 11.01 at my time. um, How was your day yesterday, and how is your day going now? Um... Uh, my day yesterday, it was something. Let's just say that. It got better, but it was something. That's all I'll say. Almost cried, though. Almost. Oh, those are gorgeous. <laughs> Assuming you're, you're kind of in love, too. Mm. You are at that age when you fall in love with someone, but... It's like a feeling, babe, that when you see them, your heart stops, you know, feel like you can't breathe. That, uh, that too, yes. Um, You imagine doing so many things with them, growing old with them and experiencing new things with them. That too, that too, mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe in your own way, everybody has like different signs or is she following in love falling in love. It's different for everyone. Uh-oh. See, that's love, baby. Is 
It's a facade. <laughs> Well, of course, that's skipping. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god God, it was a dream. Maybe he really is sick this time. Amore, love. The one time you wish you had like one of those automatic staplers, that would save so much time. Okay, make some small talk. Just concerned, worried. Oh.
No, 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 it's okay. This is already awkward as is. You didn't mean it though. <laughs> I mean, kind of, but it did seem really intentional. He wasn't being kind like that, baby. Come on now. That's when you're blinded by love. I'm gonna stretch it out for the rest of the night. Believe me, I know. But, you know, I know, I know, right? <laughs> I was about to say that too. True. Mm -hmm. But you care about her really more. You love her. Is that supposed to be a Mario and Luigi poster? <laughs> Baby, oh my god. Uh. I laugh and yawn at the same time, it ain't alright. <laughs> well, you know, she is a girl and a woman. Us women sometimes, depending on the woman, we hold our grudges. Seriously, even though they're fighting, like it's <laughs> so yeah, y'all two are secretly so mad at each other, even though y'all just stopped talking. <laughs> In a way, you both are, you literally, both of you are avoiding the hell out of each other. <laughs> the way she is just looking at him. <laughs> Wow.
one, it's very obvious. Look at just like the chemistry and the atmosphere around you two, the surroundings. It, yeah. Hello, tin drop, baby. Come on. Oh, don't start with that. We know what's about you. Right? Exactly. <laughs> so we still gonna avoid them for the rest of the day No. Yes. Uh -huh. Love. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.
Once again, I'm on it. Love it. Once again, Tamoyo and her <laughs> her sounds and noises <laughs> like making how <laughs> she feels embarrassed. Top tier. Baby can do no wrong. I think I'm in love with my best friend. <laughs> kind of hoping is Misumi she ends up coming to Tokyo so that she can see him and like make her own thoughts about him so hopefully that happens too honestly I love the fact that this week was their first fight I mean because yeah one, one they are friends so of course we're going to see them fight two Everybody, you know, ever since episode one, we look at these two like they're a couple, even though they're not officially a couple and such. And it's so funny that Mika is like, you two fighting and such, and how everybody literally read the room and you can see that, yeah, these two are a little close a little bit right now. So, you know, something's off and such. But the fact is that, you know, Baby would, you know, believe rumors about him so freaking quickly and she decides to confront him on it. Yes, the first thing that, you know, Shima is going to feel is, you know, a little bit hurt and anger. And did he have a right to lash out on her in that moment? A little bit of yes and a little bit of no. But I think more once he got another opinion on, on it from someone else. And then really taking a step back and looking at it as a whole, he could see why he was wrong. And then actually also for Sumi... Sumi doing the same thing, she could see why she was kind of, quote, unquote, overstepping her boundaries. It's just because, number one, like I said, she's in love with him. And as she said, when he's not there, the day feels boring. Boom. M baby. Like, how, how do you tell someone you're in love with someone without actually telling them you're in love with someone? That sentence right there in a nutshell is literally saying, I'm in love with you. But I'm still, I'm a little too afraid of saying it because, once again, I don't want to get, I don't want to end up hurt. I don't think either one of these two wants to end up hurt. Would I like to see this show end with them getting together? Oh, heck yeah, in a heartbeat. Do I think we're going to see it? I'm not going to answer that right now because <laughs> who knows how I'll feel when this show um, is going to end. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's the biggest thing. We'll have to see when we get there and such. But seeing, you know, seeing this and like literally having the the theme of love being talked about, it does remind me like, okay, so in the 29 years of my life, um, of course I love like my family and my friends and everything. But like, I, I feel like when I was really truly in love with someone, I feel like now I've only been in love, love two times. Two times in my 29 years of life. I, I can say, yes, I'm in love with all my anime men and such. And that I am married to them. Because, yes, I am. Duh. But, um, in the two times in my life with my two exes that I dated. Those were the really, um, two times I was truly in love. One who was in the military. Both of them were subscribers. One who was in the military. And one who lives about a couple hours from me. Um... Between the two, I only taught to one. I have not taught to the military guy in, like, <sighs> years, maybe, as of right now, I believe. Yeah. Um, With him, I, you know how, I, as her friend said, like, you know, I, and as even I said, you envision a lot of things with them. And I think for the both of us, we both were really in love with each other and such. Um, As I will say with most relationships the biggest downfall especially if you are not in front of each other all the time is the long distant thing because as I've talked to other people in the past you do not really know what your significant other is doing when you don't have eyes on them but the biggest thing is from that it's always about trust 
And then also communication and such. That's why I always say communication is the key. Looking at these two, they do talk. Like at first, I really thought that Sumi or even um, Shimakun, one of them would have just kept avoiding the other and not saying anything for the whole episode, indicating that one of them would have had to finally step up and be like, hey, why are you avoiding me? Is it because I said this, X, Y, and Z? And such because sometimes I think all of us, whoever you date or whoever you are with, you will get a moment where it's like, you know, it, it feels a little one sided and they're not saying something to you and you do get upset and you're like, okay, how do I say something to this person without lashing out? That's the biggest thing. You always want to still have the other person have a chance to talk try not to do it without yelling and such so i mean regardless like this show is just a learning experience and everything with the right way of communication and talking with others also you know the fact is once again like yes a guy and a girl can be you know best friends with or without you know them dating and such or just having any love platonic feelings involved because yes they both do have a love for each other but it's just slowly but surely coaxing it out of each other and you know i feel like do i feel like in the next like what two three weeks one of them is gonna confess would i like to see that heck yes i would but you know hi it, it ain't no it ain't gonna be like hoodie mia or like any of the other romance series that i've seen where it's like you know <laughs> we're gonna confess now and then we're dating and such i feel like with this it's really about taking its time taking its course instead of being like some other animes that i've seen where episode one they meet each other episode three they're going on their first like friends date episode six they're officially dating and then episode nine or whatever they're finally having their first kiss like they're this relationship between these two is very similar pace wise to um i'm about to fucking <laughs> mess his name up <laughs> Yeah, Kaguya and um, <laughs> Shiro from Kaguya and Summer Love is Born. Really, because it is slow, and, and I'm not mad at slow, slow paced uh, love, and, love romance series or even fast paced, but sometimes when you get something that is too fast paced, you look at the relationship and you're like, really? That just happened? In the span of like 14 weeks? Okay. All right. But still, this was a fairly enjoyable episode. I mean, like, oh. Uh, too many feels once again oh my god but other than that guys that is my reaction to towards episode six of skip to loafer if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day just match the squad and of course i will see you guys officially all on i can't speak on next tuesday for episode seven bye guys